Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren and today I'm going to be filming for you guys a college video that I actually filmed last year and I got a lot of positive feedback on it and it was a video that was called 20 things I wish I knew before I went to college or something along the lines of that and it got so much positive feedback on it so I decided to do another one of 20 more things that I learned this year while I was at college just to give you guys even more advice and even more tips and if you guys were interested in these college videos, I will have my college playlist linked down below with all of my videos in it. And I will also card the 20 things I learned last year over here. If you guys don't know me already, my name's Lauren and I just finished my sophomore year of college. So I am halfway through college now, which is kind of crazy. And I do these videos all the time, giving you guys different advice and tips and things like that on high school and college. So anyways, I'll stop rambling and why don't we jump right on into the tips. So the first thing that I learned was is that you're gonna need to learn how to cook eventually. So I never really knew how to cook that well um, going into college and I think that's just because I never taught myself how to like make meals. Like I knew how to make basic things but I never really knew how to make a lot of different things and since I was a sophomore I had to learn how to cook this year because I had my own kitchen and I think it's good to learn how to make a lot of different meals before you go into college. Number two is to have a resume prepared and a LinkedIn profile created. And I didn't really know this when I was a freshman um, until like second semester that I should at least have a LinkedIn profile and a resume created. I had a resume but not like an updated one and I never had a LinkedIn profile. And I realized those are two things that a lot of people are looking for when whether you're applying for jobs or if you're applying for internships. A lot of companies just want to see those two things. So it's really good to just have those two things. Now, Number three is that group projects honestly are awful. You're gonna at least have to deal with a couple of group projects while you're in college for sure. And a lot of the times you don't get to pick your groups, which is the worst. So you don't know who you're going to get assigned. And a lot of the times it ends up being a lot of people who are not very on top of their game or people who, you know, are like, late on doing assignments or don't put any effort into them. Um, I've had really great group projects and I've had some really like awful groups so it really differs. Number four is that you're going to be on the same like level as everyone else with like um, involvement and with academics because when people are getting accepted into your college they're usually around the same like grade average as you. Um, they've usually done similar things, the same amount of things as you. So you're not going to be like the smartest person or the best person at this or this. Number five is you're going to have to figure out things on your own. So just like basic things like how to maybe like submit different papers or how to do your schedule or how to do this, that. Um, even though there are a lot of people who can guide you at your college and that are paid to do so, sometimes people are not the most helpful either. So you're going to have to learn how to do a lot of things just on your own. Number six is that teachers have a lot of cool connections. So definitely be nice to your teachers, be nice to everyone. But um, teachers have usually worked in the field before they became teachers, so they've worked for a lot of cool companies that maybe you want to work for. So it's definitely cool to talk to them about it, um, ask them different advice, different questions about the companies that they worked for, or um, they may have different connections. You just never know. Teachers are a really good tool to utilize in that sense because they're teaching you because they know things from that field and have been in that industry. Number seven is take advantage of study rooms. I loved study rooms. Um, we had them in our library, so you rent them out for a couple hours and. And it was a room with some computers and chairs and tables and you can just study in them work on projects with them and you can like talk in them and not be um, distracted at your house or in your dorm um, but also you don't have to be like really quiet you like have this room where you can talk and discuss and these are really good for group projects for partner projects and just getting things done so I use them a lot this semester especially. Number eight is definitely try to find an on-campus job I've been struggling with finding an on-campus job but it's definitely something that could be a good thing if you want to make extra cash on the side um, a lot of your campuses should have different jobs that they can do and they usually employ students for these jobs so you could be like working at the bookstore working at the library um, working for like different activities um, I don't know there's just like so many different Number things. Number nine is it's very easy to skip class. It's definitely something that can be done very easily and is very tempting, but it's definitely good to have that self-control and know that you're paying for these classes and it's okay to skip once in a while if, you know, something comes up or whatever, but don't try to skip just to skip, especially when the weather's nice. I know that's the hardest because you just want to be outside and doing things and you don't really want to go to class, especially if your teacher doesn't take attendance. It's very easy to just skip that class. Number 10 is it's good to just keep meeting people as you go through college.
college. Even though you may have met a group of friends when you were a freshman, it's always good to meet even more new people as your semesters go on because you can make a lot of different new friends, but you can also lose friends at the same time just because maybe those friends were um, your friend because they lived next door to you or they were your friend because they were in all your classes and then maybe you don't talk to them as much and maybe you're just friends with them out of convenience like you never know and you're gonna learn that different people are gonna come and go in number 11 is one that I always struggle with and it's you do not need to go and spend money and go out to eat all the time I notice now that I have a car on campus that I go out to eat a lot and that's just because I get bored and I just want to eat good food and where I go to college there's so many different places to eat I always have a like internal struggle of like oh like I want to socialize and go out to eat and have good food but I also want to save my Number 12, which is a super random fact, is to have headphones with you at all times. Um, I learned this this year because I would go to either like the library or the gym or just different places and I would really want to use um, my headphones to listen to music and I wouldn't have them in my backpack at all. So I always make sure that I have a pair of headphones in my purse and in my backpack. Number 13 is you will be distracted just so easily by everything. I just realized that I get distracted very, very easily while I'm at college, whether that be I'm in classes or um, when I'm out of class and I should be studying but I want to go like to the mall or I want to go out to eat or I want to do this or this. I just get distracted very very easily so for me I have to go to the library to not be distracted is what I've noticed because I can't do work in my room or in my house because I just can't focus but just like find that space where you're not getting distracted all the time. Number 14 is to utilize your student discount which is definitely really important on a lot of different stores you can use your student discount so you can always ask different stores if they do student discounts and a lot of them actually do and you get like 10% off 15% off um, I do this all the time now I always ask if they have student discounts. Number 15 is to take tons of pictures I definitely did this one a lot this year I took a lot of pictures all the time in videos just because I like to have those memories and compile them in like a big like a video at the end of the year and just to look back on and stuff so definitely take a lot of pictures. Number 16 is try to explore off your campus if you can because sometimes you're just stuck in this little bubble on your campus and you just forget that there's a real world out there and that you can actually go explore and just you know go to different places so I've definitely been doing that I mean regardless I do have a car so like it does make life a lot easier but freshman year we try to you know go to different places as much as we could just because you're just stuck on campus. Number 17, I mentioned this in my dorm video if you guys have not watched that yet, but is to time your laundry and take it out on time. People will definitely take yourself out of the washer and dryer. I've done it before and many people have too. A lot of the um, dorms don't have enough washers and dryers for the whole entire dorm building, so they can get very crowded very quickly. So it's good to find times where you know people won't be doing their laundry, aka not Sundays. 18 is that it's okay to nap, it's okay to take naps. I always feel very guilty taking naps just because I was like I should be doing things but definitely like it could be hard to get a good like nights of sleep every single night so it's definitely good to take a nap once in a while if you feel like you are exhausted and you need one. Number 19 is to take advantage of any study abroad options or any different like trip options so I know that my school has a lot of study abroad options or you can do different um, programs within the United States you don't have to actually go abroad but they do have these different programs that are really cool to utilize and look into. And number 20 I said this in my last video and I'm gonna say it again but time moves so quickly when you're in college it's kind of weird that I'm halfway through I don't like it um, it's definitely moved way way too quickly and when people said this to me freshman year I was like no it definitely have so much more time but now that I'm halfway through I am noticed how quickly time moves it's definitely really scary anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you guys have any more requests or anything like that leave it down below but I'll see you guys all in my next video bye <laughs>